in the serene Himalayas beauty of nature, resided a young monk named Shivanan. A devoted disciple of the Buddha possessed a sharp intellect and a curious mind. However, despite his spiritual progress, he found himself entangled in the relentless web of overthinking. His thoughts would incessantly race, replaying past events, worrying about the future and creating endless scenarios that often caused anxiety and distress. One day, while meditating under a majestic banyan tree, three is equal to Shivanand approached the Buddha, seeking guidance to alleviate the burden of his overactive mind. The Buddha listened patiently to Shivanand's concerns, his compassionate eyes reflecting understanding and empathy. Shivanand, the Buddha began, his voice as soothing as the gentle breeze, the mind is a powerful tool capable of immense wisdom and clarity. However, when left unchecked, it can become a relentless torrent, sweeping us away from the present moment and into the labyrinth of worries and fears. The Buddha then shared a profound parable with Shivanan. Imagine a farmer carrying a heavy sack of seeds. As he walks through the fields, the sack grows heavier, weighing him down and causing him much discomfort. He struggles to carry the burden, his steps becoming labored and his mind filled with thoughts of the weight he bears. A wise traveler observes the farmer's struggle and approaches him. Why do you carry this heavy burden, my friend, the traveler inquires. The farmer explains that the sack contains precious seeds, the hope for his future harvest. The traveler then asks, must you carry the entire field with you? Why not plant the seeds and let them grow where they belong? The farmer contemplates the traveler's words and realizes the truth in his advice. He carefully sows the seeds, feeling a sense of relief as the weight of the sack is lifted. He continues his journey, his heart lighter and his mind more at ease. Shivanand, the Buddha continued, our thoughts are like the seeds in the sack. Some are fertile and can lead to positive outcomes, while others are barren and will only cause distress. Just as the farmer must choose which seeds to plant, we must learn to discern which thoughts to nurture and which to let go. The Buddha then guided Shivanand through a simple yet profound practice, mindfulness meditation. He taught Shivanand to focus his attention on the present moment, observing his thoughts without judgment. With each breath, Shivanand would gently bring his attention back to the anchor of his breath, allowing his thoughts to arise and pass like clouds drifting across the sky. As Shivanand practiced mindfulness diligently, he began to experience a remarkable transformation. The constant chatter of his mind gradually subsided, replaced by a sense of inner peace and tranquility. He learned to observe his thoughts without getting caught up in their narratives, allowing them to come and go without judgment. Shivanand's overthinking gradually gave way to a deeper appreciation for the present moment. He found joy in the simple act of breathing, in the beauty of nature and in the kindness of others. He realized that true happiness lay not in dwelling on the past or worrying about the future, but in embracing the present moment with open arms. From that day forward, Shivanand became a beacon of mindfulness, sharing the Buddha's teachings with others and helping them find liberation from the clutches of overthinking. He guided them to cultivate a peaceful mind, free from the burdens of the past and the anxieties of the future, enabling them to experience the true essence of happiness and tranquility.